Welcome to this explanatory video. My name is Jarno Kaminga from EQX Media BV. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to document code using XML comments. Using the way I'm doing this, you can use it inside continuous integration and development and generate the documentation automatically upon builds and releases. I'll switch over to Visual Studio to demonstrate you how it works. Here is a project created by my company. It's an open source project and response I received from the open source community was that it could be handy for them to get documentation so they can make use of the library much more easily. So, uh, Visual Studio has an option to insert code documentation using XML tags. Uh, there is thorough documentation on the XML comments documentation online on the website of Microsoft, of course. So I'm not gonna explain that any further. If you wish to uh, know how to do that, look into the documentation on the MSDN website. Uh, here you see a lot of comments in uh, XML comments in the comments above classes. That way you'll document the class itself. You see documentation and code examples even on the constructor, the properties that class contains and the other classes in there as well. Well, one fun thing to mention is because this is an uh, library that implements interfaces from an abstraction library created by others. Uh, there is a lot of documentation uh, that can be inherited from uh, other parts of uh, the assemblies in the .NET framework. So here you see one of these statements. It inherits the documentation of system.io directory create directory. This way you'll minimize the efforts uh, involved to get it all documented well. A lot of documentation is also shared among classes, etc. For this, uh, I use the convenient XML comments tag and a separate XML file in of which uh, I'll extract information using XML of XPath, uh, an XPath structure. So it will include that part of that document inside here. It might as well be nice for you to see that the XML document is here. Uh, it's defined in a certain structure by myself. It contains common shared XML documentation comments that's gonna be included at a lot of places. One Nice thing to mention, because I spoke about it being integratable in CI CD. Well, for this, I'm using Sandcastle. Sandcastle is a plugin for Visual Studio. Um, there's still a lot of work to do for the documentation, because uh, this library contains four framework versions it supports. And I'm currently working on the second uh, version of the framework to uh, have a documentation of its own. Uh, most of it is simply shared and extract, uh, extracted from the code. Um, well, once I decide to build uh, it, the documentation will be automatically generated. Looking at Windows Explorer, you'll see an empty docu uh, document fold, uh, folder in which the generated documentation is gonna uh, come. So switching back to Visual Studio, I'm gonna show you the build process. First, I'll be building the library itself that only took a while because I just recently built it and then I'm gonna build the .NET 4.6.1 version of the documentation. You see the Soundcastle project being built. It takes a while 
and it outputs a lot of information. Sandcastle is able to generate HTML documentation, um, help files, Windows help files, and so on. Um, so it, it'll take a while. It'll extract everything from the code files. Of course, this project can be referenced in your pipeline in continuous integration. So it's now generating a table of contents, building the help topics. Once we switch over to Visual uh, to Windows Explorer, you'll see that it is logging in the last build log. It has a working directory in which the build takes place. And once it's done, the files will be appearing here. It takes a bit longer than we might like it, but most of the time, that's the fact. <laughs> it's just a matter of being patient. The main reason for this is that I'm using my laptop as a full-blown video studio at the moment as well, so it takes a bit longer. It's now at the stage of compiling the help file itself, and then it's generating a full text index and copying the help files. So now you'll see them appearing here in Windows Explorer. And once we open uh, the index HTML and we switch over to Chrome, then we see the documentation opened inside Chrome. And here you see uh, all the XML comments extracted. The main class of this library is the TX file system class. You see a lot of information about the properties it has. There are a lot of shared include comments, included comments, uh, references to the interfaces library. It's len uh, leaning on and when you look at the constructor you'll see a lot of remarks but even code samples inside it and if you go back to the properties we'll take file as an example you see that file is a tx file and uh, there are a few code comments in there too heading over to the tx file class you'll see all the inherited documentation and apart from the inherited documentation there is also a lot of extensions of uh, myself from the shared xml doc looking at the source is possible as well you'll be heading over straight to the github repository once you click on the view source button so uh, this was the demonstration I hope you liked it and we're gonna be showing you more of this kind of videos in the upcoming future. Thanks for watching.